Welcome back, conspirators. Uh, this is chapter 10 of the quarry, bricks and mortar. The table, help me. This is the elegant villain here. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That's all I play on this uh, channel is nothing but horror games, guys. Come and join the fun. Okay. Well, can't get much worse than it already is, right? <laughs> you got that right, man. Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. <laughs> well, Jesus, Caitlin. Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back the first chance they get. Great news. Okay. All right. We gotta get a vantage point. Yeah, guys, um, that last chapter, then the last video I uploaded, like, Jesus Christ, that was such a rough chapter. Yeah, three people die. The old lady, the sheriff, and Ryan. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know if I get penalized for the old lady and uh, the sheriff dying. Um, they're not technically part of, like, our main group, but Ryan was, so. What the heck is this? I don't know. We'll find out at the end, I guess. What the hell is this, a rabbit? I almost feel it. Can we? Can I not take that? No? Okay. It's like, I almost feel like I should take that rabbit because I feel like that would be like a good distraction to like throw to like a werewolf, you know? Pull that chain. And it won't let me take it though. Um, let's see. Can I like hop over this? No. Yeah, I don't know. I just have a bad feeling that things are just going to get worse from here on out, man. I think the death toll is just going to continue to rise. <laughs> it was like I was doing so well. Uh, man. Um, I'm just kind of searching for... Uh, searching for tarot cards right now. Uh, there's something here. Hold on. What's not a there we go. Good idea, Caitlin. Better. Yeah, that's much better. All right. Let's continue to like try and reinforce this uh, cabin here. Is this not like a paper I can pick up? No. Okay. Um. You know, like barricade the damn door and windows, man. It's like I know you locked that window, but at the end of the day, that werewolf is coming crashing through either way, you know? <laughs> like, damn. Uh, what the hell is this? It's more doors. I can't do anything. All right. Where do I even got to go? Do I got to go upstairs? Actually, there's this whole section down here. Just gonna explore for a minute here. Make sure I got everything secured. Dylan, we really need to find you a hook, man. Um, shake. Go check down here real quick before I start climbing up the stairs. Make sure all these windows are closed. Is there anything on this table? No. Really? It won't let me through there? Alright, I think we're all set down here. Let's uh, let's go upstairs, I guess. Caitlin, like, give Dylan some space, man. Jesus Christ, you don't have to be up his ass. Poor guy's been through enough today. How long has this guy been here? Ancestral portrait. Uh, what's that say? Large and overbearing, this regal oil painting of Septimus Hackett. 
uh, holds pride a place on the lodge's chimney column. I actually want to take a look at the... I found 11 of 19 Hackett history. Uh, 4 and 9 freak show fire. I don't know what else I got going on here. Uh, 8 of 12 camp history. So we're doing okay. We found a bunch of stuff so far. Still more to find. A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> um, prepare for attack. Keep looking. Um, and we need to prepare for an attack. I don't want to keep looking and then all of a sudden werewolves start busting in here, you know? I try to keep as many people alive as possible if here. Through the summer, what doesn't kill you make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. That means for life, we're proud to proud say. say. Shout it straight and shout out loud. We're hacketeers. <laughs> Is that like the camp Jim song there? Never learn the words. <laughs> we're hacketeers, guys. We're gonna survive this one way or another. Yeah, here they come. So are we not going to prepare for an attack? Like, what are we doing here? I thought we were going to, like, start boarding up windows and stuff. If I'd known we weren't going to do anything, I would have kept looking. Showtime, motherfuckers. Oh, yeah, I keep, I keep forgetting about Jacob, man. He's just kind of an afterthought, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I forgot. He's about, he's been locked up, and he just got set free. Now he's just wandering around. I don't know if he's bit. I don't think so. I just wish I could tell you I'm sorry. More than anything. <laughs> yeah, this whole night is on you, Jacob. Fuck. I just wanted one more night together. Too much to ask for. <laughs> Shit. Stop crying, you big baby. At the very start of this game, he cut the fuel line that got us all trapped here one extra night. It's all on you, Jacob. Yeah, here we go. It's like I wouldn't even care if you if you died, honestly. He's probably the one character right now where it's like I, I don't really care if he lives or dies. I mean, I'm going to try to save him, but, you know, I'm not going to be heartbroken if he dies, though, you know? He's going to get what's coming to him. Hide, run, uh, damn, man, uh... Yeah, let's run. We seem to have good luck in outrunning these things, so... It's like every time we try to hide, they, everyone finds us, you know? Oh yeah, if we can get it in that thing. Not this time, motherfucker. There we go. Fucking idiot. <laughs> okay, Jacob, I, I, maybe, maybe I want you to live now. That was pretty funny. What is going on out there? Should we go find the others? No, we're safer in here and it's nearly morning. Damn, what is going on, man? What the? I got the whole pack on us here. Freaking coming through the freaking painting? What the hell? Okay. Thought that was like Vigo from the Ghostbusters, you know? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I hate to tell you, Caitlin, but that, that gun's not really going to do anything. It only stings them. It doesn't do nothing. Run, wait. Yeah, we're... Oh, God damn it. We've never had the option to wait before. Let's run. Running, running has worked. Running has worked this whole game. Yeah, that chair will do it. <laughs> 
girl's got jokes, man. Yeah, that chair will keep him out for sure. Nothing to worry about. It's Caitlin. Holy shit. Well, we gotta let her in. Well, we can't. The office door's locked from the outside. But there must be something we can well, do. Yeah, but what? Yeah, we need to, like, create a distraction, man. I don't know with what, though. See, if we had that little pull string rabbit with us, we could have, like, chucked that down there with it. They would have, like, fought with that thing. It wouldn't let me pick it up, though. If we can time it right, we can give them to her. She passes. If she passes. <laughs> yeah. That's wishful thinking. Uh, beam, window. Um, damn, man. Uh, let's go beam. I don't want to go out the window. There's probably more of them waiting out there for me, you know? Where the hell did Dylan go? Uh, please don't let this be one of these things where I gotta keep the paddle still. Jesus Christ, I forgot I gotta mash this. Quick, 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 quick! Go, 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 go! Alright, we got it. I was really afraid on that one. I hit that, oh, like about two seconds too late. You know, I thought I was going to fall off there. Now here he comes again. Where is Dylan? Run. We're still running, guys. Running has worked. Sticking with it. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Caitlin, this way. There you are. What the hell you been doing, man? We need the bullets. We're going to be given a choice or investigate, run. Oh, man. Let's investigate. We got to get those silver bullets. It's silver. Hey, this will actually it. harm it, you know, if we have time to put it in and reload. It's like normal bullets ain't gonna do anything to this thing, so you know. Felt like this was the right choice. Put it, put it in the freaking gun. Are you kidding me? Ooh! Are you kidding me? I shot it. God damn it, man! Are you kidding me? Uh, screw you, man. I want I wanted Caitlyn to survive. God damn it. That bullet didn't do anything to that thing. Like, what the hell? Oh, God damn it, man. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, just, I don't even know what to say, man. I just don't. It's I'm so mad now. It's been an interesting night, wouldn't you agree? The cycle continues, for some at least. I have to admit, you've disappointed me. But not as much as you could have done. We're bonded now, you and I. And though the full moon will come again, and the curse remains... This night is over. Don't worry. I'll never forget what you did here. But don't you dare ever step foot in Hackett's quarry again. So wait, is this the end of the game? I see you poking your nose where it doesn't belong. I will never stop haunting you. Wherever you go, I'll be right behind you. The breath on your neck. Always just out of sight. If you ever come back, I will haunt you until the day you die. Well, Jesus Christ, lady. Like, let me live.
Superman, that wolf is still alive. That's the like the original one. Um, that old lady's son. Summer camp tragedy. Freak bear attack leaves several dead. What do you make of that, Anthony? I love that term, several. Like, the detectives are just, they, they don't even count the bodies. They're not like one, two, they're like one, two, three. Yeah, you know what, it's several. Several murders. <laughs> yeah. You know, it might be a tactic, though. They can't give out that information. So this is cool. They're Sometimes recapping the thing on this podcast. It's difficult to solicit information from, especially when you go in saying, Hi, I'm a paranormal expert. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes, it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie, go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh God, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces, I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, Stop doing a podcast. No one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't <laughs> wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine, let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really... Really, there's just so much tape on the package. Sorry. What's in the box, guys? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. Not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, <laughs> ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? Yeah. What if I showed you leaked photos from one of their cameras, photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry, supposedly where the camera was found? Oh yeah, we did take photos throughout this game. There and they dropped their camera. Okay, Anton, let me ask you real quick. What makes you drop your camera? Uh, tripping over a root, um, being jostled, uh, in uneven, uh, row of cobblestones what about being murdered if you dropped your phone you wouldn't go missing where are they now i don't know people get lost in the woods all the time there's like hundreds of people a year they could be anywhere that's not all no mm -mm. i'm about to lay a little something else on you 
My sources also tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Really? Then, okay, well then, shouldn't this be public knowledge? Why aren't the Hackett's prime suspects? Exactly my point. Maybe they would be if anyone knew where they were. Is it all just a big cover-up operation? Yeah, that's where it falls apart a bit, in my opinion. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of Wartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes. You say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. They just had to add that little butter pop song in there, didn't they? Welcome to Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're going to make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma. Allegedly. Oh yeah, Dylan left with that. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy, how long we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I wanna know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen cause of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire? We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read? As the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen. Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended, for now. So, I don't think that's gonna be a problem for this next one. Oh God, why? Holy shit, this is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Dude, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, it was never actually sent. That's mad shit, fam. <laughs> Signed by Travis Hackett. We're not doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. I guess it wasn't technically sent to us. Cease and desist letters come from people hiding stuff. Hmm. Okay. And 
Next, we have this empty vial thing. Now, to me, empty implies that it was once full. Samesies. Bloodstains, maybe? Filled with blood? Looks that way. Freaky. Some kind of ritual thing? Do I detect a hint of belief? Love a good ritual. Kind of fucked up that these guys know who we are, though. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay, do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please, just say what you're gonna say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't- I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Okay, so what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo taken by one of the counselors. I'm a Mount Bank, downloaded from her phone. Oh my god. Yeah, is that's that uh, when we took the this picture of the werewolf on the lake. Discuss. It looks shopped. I mean, doesn't it? I don't think so. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. What the hell is that? Bizarre, yet bona fide. What the hell happened? More than what we're being told. Man. There's something else, too. Yeah? Look what happens when I put it through a negative filter. What is that? It's her, the hag of Hackett's quarry. See? Full circle! I mean, that could be anything, dude. It, it barely even looks like a person. What's, what's that thing where your mind makes you see faces and shit? I can't believe you're still questioning this. What do you want me to say? Ultimately, unless I experience something myself, the most likely reasoning is that it's fabricated. Okay, then what do you think of this? Ew, is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. Looks human. Hmm. Wait, is it? Apparently, it belongs to whatever creatures supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Oh, convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. Okay. You know what? It's weird. I'll give you that. Oh my god. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh my god, I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've turned you your... I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. I won. You did not win. This I mean, is look, a contest and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, what are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I I'm want. I'm not giving here. you anything. You've practically given it. Just give me the succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. Ah! This is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No. So what now? Well, we gotta send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just look into a crystal ball and see how it all played out. Yeah, but what fun would that be? Sure, we could speculate, but we weren't there. We didn't go through what these kids went through. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Quarry. Um, who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast. Hey, I can tell you guys, I just went through this whole experience and I'm not sure what even went down. This was actually really cool that they, uh, uh, the survivors went through and like sent the podcast all the all those details and the evidence that they collected. That's really cool how they did that. I'm just gonna keep letting this go here. Um, I'm gonna see what happens at the end here. Maybe we'll get some bonus scenes or something.
I'm just going to keep letting this play. I'm not going to speak because I don't know if this is going to get the audio here is going to get cut out or not. So I'm just going to keep letting this roll.
All right, here we go, conspirators. Uh, what's the say? God, it's so hard to read. You've unlocked the Death Rewind feature. Uh, this feature allows you three opportunities um, within a single playthrough of the quarry to reverse a playable character's death and try again to save them. Uh, use your three lives wisely. Oh, that's pretty sweet. So enable your three... Uh, now, yeah, I do want to enable that, man, for my next playthrough of this. See, Death Rewind, you can enable or disable the Death Rewind feature via the accessibility section of the settings menu at any time. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Okay, guys. Um, man, between um, Until Dawn and now this game... God, the endings of these two games have just been so heartbreaking... Um, like, Until Dawn, Sam died within, like, the last minute of that game, and I really wanted her to survive. And it's the same thing here all over again with Caitlyn. It's like, she's got, like, a minute left to survive, and she ends up getting killed. I'm gonna, I actually gonna need to go back and rewatch my own gameplay of that, because... I mean, I could have swore I shot the damn wolf, but maybe it's saying I didn't shoot it quick enough, or if I missed the shot, I don't know, man. Her death might just be 100% on me, and if it is, that's my bad. But it's like, damn, it's like the two characters I wanted to survive in both of these games end up dying with, like, you know, less than a minute to go in the games, man. That's just... It's just unfortunate, man. That's just been... That's so heartbreaking. So these have been a pretty depressing endings to both of these games, man. Like, Jesus Christ. It's like, I actually... We had, uh... More characters survived than I thought, because I, I really thought the death toll was going to really start stacking up. I mean, it did to a point, but... I mean, we had, what, Emma survived, uh, Abigail, Jacob, uh, Dylan, uh, the old man, Bobby, um, Mr. H, um, that old lady's son, the white wolf, he's still alive, um... I think we had, uh, I don't know, did Nick survive? I think Nick survived too, didn't he? I don't know. I have to double check that. But yeah, we had quite a few people that did survive, but... Yeah, that sucks that Laura died too. I, I really wanted her to to survive this. Oh, Max, Max survived too. I forgot about him. He survived as well. But yeah, freaking Laura died battling that other wolf. They, did, they really didn't even show that happening, so that kind of sucks. It's like, I really wish she would have survived. It's like, she's like who we started playing this whole game out with, you know? But man, yeah, these, uh... This game and Until Dawn by these super massive games, man, these these are, like, incredible games. I, I love playing these, uh, these games like this that are, like... Uh, like, you have to do the, the quick decisions, and it, it just seems like, you know, there could be, like, a hundred different outcomes to these games, man. Like, especially this one. This one had way more choices in it than um, Until Dawn did. And it's like, God, there's got to be, like, a hundred different endings to this game, man. But I, I'm definitely going to go ahead and play this game again, probably on my own time. Um, it's like, I love that they gave me, like, these three extra lives here where I can change a character's death, so I'll definitely uh, be taking advantage of that again, you know? It's like, I've still got to see, like, what all this other stuff is. It's like, there's movie mode, wolf pack mode. There's actually, like, a co-op mode, too. Um, that would actually be pretty fun to play with uh, some of you guys if you guys own this game and you want to do a co-op. Uh, like, let me know, man. That'd be cool if we could get, like, a bunch of us to play this, um, like, a playthrough of this. That'd be awesome. Um, but I don't know, guys. What do you guys think of this game? I thought it was pretty cool. It's like it started out real slow. Like, uh, like uh, the first couple chapters, it was just kind of just just getting to know the characters and exploring. Um, other than the first first chapter, the first chapter was just like the prologue. But like chapter one, two, and three were kind of really slow and just kind of like you know searching the camp and just getting to know the characters and then. The second half of this game is really where the, the action takes off, and it's like, okay, now this this is what I'm expecting, you know? But, yeah, I actually, I love this game. I'm definitely going to play it again. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, playthrough, and uh, hopefully some of the decisions you saw me make you can avoid in your playthrough if you haven't played this game yet. 
Um, I think you can get this game, uh, you can buy it right off the PSN network. I think it's like running like 15 bucks. So I don't know. You can either buy it off there or it's, it's probably like, you know, probably 10 to 15 bucks at GameStop by now too. So um, if you want to check this game out, I highly recommend it. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Um, if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. That's all I do on this channel is horror games. So if you love horror games, you've come to the right place, man. That's all I do. So, conspirators, um, until then, uh, we will. Uh, I'm going to go back to the bin, pick out a game. We'll see where we end up next, guys. Uh, maybe it'll be Resident Evil. I, I kind of want to get back into Resident Evil, to be quite honest with you. So, thank you guys again for watching. And until then, conspirators, uh, stay charming. And uh, we'll be back real soon with the next one.